a large number of oceanic creatures are heading towards land, and although a variety of theories have been put forward to suggest why they're doing this, marine biologists and experts aren't entirely sure why this is happening. They have some theories as to why animals such as dolphins and whales are doing this, and one of them is that these animals are hearing noises in the ocean which in turn is causing them to act strange. It's no secret that our oceans have changed throughout the years, and sadly this isn't for the better. A worrying trend is that whales and dolphins have been washing up and heading towards land much more often in the last few years, and this tells us that something is happening within the ocean that's causing them to act like this. Marine biologists who have been following these events have said that one of the most recent events that's been documented is the washing up of whales on California beaches. As of right now, dozens of these large whales have been observed purposefully beaching themselves, in what experts call a worrying event. Mrs Manning, a marine biologist from the United Kingdom, said this is something that we're seeing more of, and that in general sea life behaviour has changed over the last 40 years, and that now we have documented proof of creatures such as whales and dolphins acting differently. She continued by saying that whales are bashing into ships at high speed, which is in turn causing them damage, and that a large number of marine life seems to be off course, further noting that sometimes these beachings will be caused by injuries. But she said that what most websites fail to mention is that most of the time these injuries are caused by humans, be it via fishing or in regards to the ocean being more cluttered with ships. An interesting study that looked into this found a direct correlation between negative whale behaviour and navy sonar. Although sonar has been an incredibly helpful tool during various points in history, it's safe to say that those who used sonar in the early days were not considering the impact on marine life when first using it. There are two different types of sonar, active and passive. Active sonar, which has been commonly used by navies, involves a device known as a transducer, that emits a sound pulse into the water. When this sound pulse hits a surface like a submarine or a whale, the pulse reflects back to the transducer, indicating that there's something in the water. These reflection pulses can then be calculated to determine how far away this object or creature is. Passive sonar on the other hand utilises a system that does not emit a sound, and instead listens to detect any sound that comes near it. However, since 2001, it's been determined that active sonar is extremely harmful to whales and other aquatic animals, specifically a type of active sonar referred to as low-frequency active sonar. Low-frequency active sonar emits a sound at a decibel nearly twice that of a rock concert, and can maintain the decibel of a concert for 300 miles underwater. Not only is this incredibly loud, it's severely detrimental to animals who primarily use long-range sound underwater to communicate with each other, to find food and to navigate. Low-frequency active sonar has led to animals losing contact with other members of their species, to them no longer foraging for food, and to them swimming deep or rising quickly because they're frightened by the sound. Low frequency active sonar has also caused hearing loss and hemorrhages in whales and dolphins, and has contributed to a large amount of strandings, also known in beachings in which animals have passed away on land, either to being beached or to the severe injuries sustained from low frequency active sonar. This has disproportionately affected beached whales, a type of whale that typically dives deeper in the ocean. The United States Navy's authorization of using low-frequency active sonar has come under legal battle, and this has happened more than once, and in 2012 it was found that the Navy was in violation of the Marine Mammals Protection Act of 1972. When brought to court, it was ruled that the National Marines Fishery Service was not doing enough to protect sea life from the Navy. The National Marine Fisheries Service has since put limitations on the Navy's use of low-frequency active sonar. Environmental agencies such as the Natural Resources Defence Council 
and other environmental groups have also limited the Navy's use of active sonar, which is now only supposed to be allowed in mammal-free waters in certain locations. However, despite evidence of its harmful effects on aquatic animals, the Navy is still permitted to use low-frequency active sonar in our oceans. According to the spokesman for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Michael Milstein, the entire phenomenon is atypical and extremely concerning. Since 2019, investigations have been ongoing to determine a direct cause for this frightening high number of whales to lose their lives. Evidently, our sea life is threatened. Fortunately, the overall population of whales is not yet endangered. But should things continue on this path, there's no telling what could happen to them in the near future. Only six years ago, biologists believed there to be 26,000 whales living in North American oceans. By 2022, they believe the population has fallen to less than 20,000. Still sustainable for a population, but rapidly falling. US officials have been urged by oceanic scientists to discuss with the US Navy reforms of sea life safety codes. The Her Majesty's Australian ship was said to have wounded several whales which entered the San Diego Naval Base, which in turn caused them to lose their life. As such, biologists are pleading for the Navy to readjust its rulings when it comes to its treatment of sea creatures. The official statement by the National Marine Fisheries Service was the following. These deceased whales are grisly proof of the Navy's dire ongoing threat to vulnerable marine mammals. We're asking to find a better balance of marine protection with military readiness. End quote. Hopefully these majestic creatures will be rescued and treated with sufficient care in the future. After the Navy's reluctance to answer these pleas, the Center for Biological Diversity gave the Navy a notice of their intent to sue if they do not act soon. So what do you make of these beachings? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.